When you think of a sea turtle, do you picture it laying eggs on a tropical beach? These turtles actually spend 99% of their lives in the water, many doing migrations that can be thousands of miles and take months or years to complete. Sea turtles have very different lifestyles, with some staying in the same reef area their entire lives, as in the case of the hawksbills. Turtles like leatherbacks and loggerheads, however, can cross entire oceans in search for food, mates, and nesting beaches. These migrations start and end at the nesting beach. Depending on the species, female sea turtles will return every year to every three years to mate with male turtles offshore and lay their eggs. Once finished laying their eggs at the end of the nesting season, they return to the water and begin the next part of the cycle. Many turtles follow currents to save energy. Sea turtles migrate to find abundant sources of food such as crabs or jellyfish. They need to eat large amounts of food to build up fat for the migration and nesting and for mating, which require tremendous amounts of energy. The leatherback turtle has one of the longest migrations of any animal on earth. These huge creatures can weigh more than a thousand pounds and measure six feet in length. Their huge size allows them to withstand colder water better than any other sea turtle. From their nesting beaches in the Caribbean, the leatherbacks of the Atlantic migrate all the way north to the cold waters off of Nova Scotia, Canada in search of giant jellyfish. A leatherback can eat its weight in jellyfish each day as they put on fat. Once they eat their fill, some of these turtles will head down the middle of the Atlantic on their return to the Caribbean. Others have been tracked all the way to the west coast of Africa before heading back across the ocean. This migration can be thousands of miles and take two to three years. A Pacific loggerhead turtle can rival this epic migration. From their nesting grounds in Japan, they cross the entire North Pacific, passing Hawaii on the way to feeding grounds along the Baja California coast in Mexico. Here in Baja, they feed on abundant red crabs, living in places like Magdalena Bay. Young turtles will feed on these crabs and spend years growing before returning across the ocean. Sea Turtles co-founder, Dr. Wallace J. Nichols, that's me, and my colleagues in Baja decided to take a loggerhead that was in captivity and place a satellite transmitter on its shell and let it go in 1996. We weren't sure exactly where it would end up and we followed its progress online as it spent a year swimming across the entire Pacific Ocean until it ended up off the coast of Japan. Adelita covered roughly 6,000 miles from Baja to Japan. This was the first animal tracked across an entire ocean and helped to ignite a revolution in multinational turtle research and cooperation. By studying these migrations, turtle researchers and conservationists can use this information to help protect turtles throughout their entire life cycle.